It's now two o'clock on the 24th. I've seen a lot of horrific things today, but I think this is the most horrific. We're on the outskirts of Irpin. They've brought all the cars for the people who are trying to escape Irpin and who were shot or shelled or missile attacked by the Russians they were leaving. Many of these cars had families in them who did not survive. They were sat in these cars, so they were blown up. And there's, there's hundreds and hundreds of vehicles here. This is horrific. This is what war means. This is what Putin means. This is, this is the result of the barbarism of Vladimir Putin. This is on him, on his conscience. This is why we need a special tribunal, war trials tribunal, to bring him to justice. All of these people lost their lives. The Nazis brought people to this park. You can see all around us the park um, from all over Ukraine, uh, telling them and there's a train station here, still here, that they were going to be put on a train and go into the British Mandate of Palestine. And so they came, and, and the Nazis murdered 100,000 Jews in this park, physically massacred them here. Uh, on one day, 34,000 Jews were killed. They put this memorial wall with these anthracite crystals, which is meant to be about reflection and, and, and thought about what happened here. We have many Holocaust memorials all around the world. I went to the one in Berlin, if you watch these videos, just a few days ago. We have them in the UK and we're building another one in London. Um, genocide is one of the, the most barbaric acts that man can do to fellow man. And we're seeing, again, genocidal acts here in Ukraine. Um, I'm feeling a bit more centred now uh, than I was earlier at the Holodomor Museum. Um, but, but what we've seen on this trip, what we saw yesterday in Irpin, um, what, what, what we're hearing, what we see on the news, is a reflection of a new barbarism, like this barbarism that we're remembering and is happening today. That's why we need to act and support the people of Ukraine and other places where there are genocidal acts around the world. I'm still at Babin Yar and they've come to this installation that's really important to see this installation considering what I saw in Irpin the other day. They, they recreated bullet holes to represent the bullets that killed all the Jews here and I have to say these bullet holes look just like the bullet holes in the metal in the cars that we saw in Irpin. So what happened to these people 80 years ago, in some cases exactly 80 years ago, it's happening again today in the south of Ukraine and a, and a year ago in Irpin and we saw the bullet holes in the cars. This, this violence is continuing, a continuing cycle of violence and this whole journey, this whole aid convoy, this stay in Kyiv, the anniversary of the war, it all sort of reminds me and I think hopefully everybody is watching this that we need to end this cycle of violence.